We have a very special guest, the divisional head of Mercedes-Benz sales and marketing in the world, Mr. Ola Kalenius, coming from Germany to India, supporting us during uh, the opening of the Auto Expo. So, Ola, welcome to India. Thank you. Good afternoon, everybody. Yeah, dear friends, uh, we directly jump into your questions. And uh, the first one we got from uh, Sarat Babu. Ola, if you had to pick one Merc as your all-time favorite, which one would it be? Well, that's a, that's a very difficult question with so many great cars in the Mercedes family. If I would pick one from the current lineup, I guess it would have to be this S-Class right here, because I think no other car in the Mercedes lineup personifies or claims the best or nothing better than the S-Class. If I go back in history, though, it will have to be the 300 SL Galloway from the 1950s. Maybe that was the car of the century. Uh, the past century. Okay, thanks for this. Gita Malik uh, is uh, asking why doesn't Mercedes-Benz introduce its impressive merchandise lineup like watches or pens or keychains or whatever to Indian retailers? Mercedes-Benz has great merchandising, and in this case, uh, I would actually invite you to come to Delhi to this Auto Expo. You can you can buy. Uh, merchandise from Mercedes-Benz here right at the stand and also at our dealers around the country. Vijay Chatov asks, uh, why is the three-pointed star embossed in the grill on your cars these days rather than on the top of the bonnet as earlier? We have had cars in our lineup that have had the grill here on top of the bonnet and the grill integrated uh, and the star integrated into the grill as well. Uh, what we have uh, noticed in recent times that many customers like the sporty look of having the star integrated into the grill. So with many of our new cars where we in the past only had it on the bonnet, you can also now get it integrated into the grill. So it's a matter of taste. Uh, you can go for both with Mercedes. Yeah, Niki Desai says, Welcome to India, Ola Kalinius. I have a query about the famous feature in the new S-Class, the magic body control. What exactly is it? And if it's this good, why is this great feature not offered in the S500 available in India? Well, first of all, thank you for this warm welcome. It's great to be here in India, and this auto show is fantastic. Speaking about the magic body control, another innovation in this new S-Class is based upon a stereo camera technology. This is the only car in the world that has a stereo camera. It's, it's like a human being. It has two eyes and can see differences in space in front of it. It reads the road in front of it and combined with a number of sensors around the car, it can adapt the suspension before it hits a bump. And it's almost like you're gliding over a bump, uh, a unique feature for the uh, Mercedes-Benz S-Class. And why is it not there in India? Well, it is based upon some radio frequencies that are not yet free to use as an automobile manufacturer in India. So if those frequencies uh, become available in the Indian market, we would, of course, introduce it here as well. We would love to see it. We shall see. Yeah. A question by Bian Singh. Will there be customization options for Mercedes? cars just like in other countries, like wheels or interiors or other features? The short answer is yes. If you come to our center of excellence in Pune, where also Mercedes has production uh, facilities here in India, then uh, you can come into the world of Mercedes-Benz and more or less put together your own very special Mercedes-Benz. So in the center of excellence, it's possible. Okay. Hola, the next question is regarding the star. Lamia Shah asks, what does the three-pointed star in the Mercedes-Benz logo signify? Well, the founding father of Mercedes-Benz, uh, Gottlieb Daimler, uh, he also came up with this logo. And the three different uh, aspects of the star means to land, to see, and to air. He eventually concentrated on land, and that's why we're in the car business, thank goodness. <laughs> Yeah, the next one is a live question. What came in by Unati Shah? What does AMG Ola stand for? 
AMG stands for Aufrecht Melcher Großaspach. Aufrecht and Melcher were the two founding fathers of AMG, and Großaspach was the birthplace of Mr. Aufrecht. So the name of the company was their name. Oh, that's a clear explanation. Uh, another live question. Dear friends, it comes from Karen Kapoor. Hola, I'm interested in picking up either the Mercedes-Benz CLA or the C-Class AMG. Which one would you recommend? As somebody working in marketing and sales, I would have to say, of course, both. Uh, but if you have to pick one, it depends a little bit what you're looking for. If you're looking for a, a premium four-door coupe, very sporty, uh, with a modern, fresh design, uh, I would go maybe for the CLA. If you're looking for a slightly bigger car uh, in a different segment, the segment above the CLA, then the C-Class is the right choice for you. And if you're in the C-Class already, I can suggest, if you're a performance enthusiast, to go for the C63 AMG. Unbelievable performance uh, in a relatively compact sedan. Okay, thank you for this. Sri Kumar Gupta. Oh, he is obviously an expert. The M-Guard can withstand a shot from a 0.44 Magnum. But do features like these really make a dent in an extremely price-sensitive market like India? The M-Class Guard that we're actually launching here today at the Auto Show is, of course, a car for a very unique niche. People that need protection can get that with the M-Class Guard. But of course, that remains a very small segment, so not something for the broader audience. OK. Uh, Anjali Mira is the next one who asks a question. I heard that the SLS AMG is being phased out by this year. Is there a follow-up unit to that? And when should we expect to hear about it? Only a few weeks ago, we presented the final edition of the SLS AMG. So if you want to get an SLS, now is the time to get it, because soon it won't be available anymore. We have also introduced uh, or told the public that we will introduce a new sports car from Mercedes AMG, but we haven't said yet what it's going to be. It will not be a direct successor to the SLS, but in a different segment. But maybe that will be a surprise. Watch this space later in the year 2014. <laughs> yeah, the next one by Benal Shah. Don't you think, uh, Ola, a feature like the attention assist should one day become a standard feature like ABS? Attention assist, which measures how the driver operates the car and can kind of read whether the driver is getting tired or not, is uh, a standard feature on most Mercedes already. So as has been the case with many of the uh, record or groundbreaking technologies that Mercedes has introduced. This is yet another one of those innovations that is becoming standard on Mercedes-Benz and kind of setting a new standard for the whole automotive industry. Okay, going ahead. Babesh Batnagar, does technology like the BAS Plus Assist really make sense in the chaotic traffic conditions of India? I have the privilege of uh, yesterday and today riding along uh, in an M-Class in the traffic of Delhi. And I have to say there are very skilled drivers here uh, because that was uh, more challenging than what I'm used to when I drive in Germany. But it's not bad, even if you're a good driver, to have very good sensors and a car that can help you navigate through that difficult technology. So maybe if the driving situation is more challenging, it makes even more sense to have some of the technologies that Mercedes offers. <laughs> Yeah, Rajesh uh, Shohan, uh, one question. Uh, Ola, what exactly is the thought behind the Mercedes-Benz Center of Excellence? The Center of Excellence for Mercedes is it's kind of your Mercedes world where you can step in, customize your cars, get to know more about the products, and get the one that you exactly tailor-made to your wishes want to have. So for the exclusive customers of Mercedes-Benz, this is another offering in our customer experience. Yeah, and it's in Pune. And it's in Pune. Uh, Richard Meta, is the Mercedes-Benz performance drive, like AMG Academy or others, only open to Mercedes-Benz owners? No, anybody can go and join the uh, driving and the performance tour. 
it's one of those tools that we use, of course, for the already Mercedes customers and Mercedes fans, but also for people that are curious about Mercedes, maybe dreaming about the Mercedes. They can test drive one, and who knows, maybe they'll buy one. Okay, a related, uh, related question to this by Nandita Makani. Are you planning to do an Indian version of the AMG Driving Academy Winter Sporting Event? AMG Winter Sporting, which is uh, in my home country, in the north of Sweden, uh, you have to have permanent frozen lakes with at least a meter and a half deep ice. So I do not see that coming to India anytime soon. Mm -hmm. However, I can strongly recommend to go and have the experience in Sweden and also introduce new for this year. We have a version of that also offered in Austria. So if you're looking for a European trip, perfect way to drive on ice as well. Or if I may add, if you're interested in the AMG Driving, uh, driving Academy itself at the Put International Circuit here in India, in Delhi, then you just approach us. Both the basic and the advanced uh, version is available in this year. Yeah, that's a great offering. You can uh, feel like Nico Rosberg or Lewis Hamilton for a day. Yes. Sanip Mobia. Oh, that's a, quite a business-related question. What does India feature in Mercedes-Benz worldwide business plan? India is one of our focus markets for the future. We had a great year in India in 2013 with growth of 32%. And we're looking for significant growth in the next years to come. In our overall plan, Mercedes-Benz 2020, we feel that with the underlying strength of India in terms of its economic potential, this could even be a market that by the 2020 time frame could be in our top 10. So a very important market for the future for us. Yeah. Next question asked by Rahul Shah. Uh, oh, different direction. Do you have any plans to enter the motor motorcycle segment? which uh, other car manufacturers seem to have to make a mark in. Uh, Mercedes-Benz is four wheels and not two wheels. So we will focus on making the best cars in the world. And at this stage, have no plans uh, to do anything in the motorcycle business. OK. Ankit Kumar, does India really have a market for a car as exclusive as the SLS AMT? When the SLS AMG was launched here at the time, I was responsible for AMG. And I can remember that the first cars that we brought to the Indian market, they were like gone in 10 days or something. So obviously, there are enthusiasts for very high-end sports cars in India. It is a smaller segment. But yes, sports cars are also, as far as Mercedes is concerned, very relevant for India. Mana Vidya Lankar. Could you give us a perspective on Merck's growth? Given the state of the markets over the last year or so, has that really affected sales in the luxury segment of automobiles? In terms of worldwide growth, we're coming off of a record-breaking year in 2013 with an 11% growth vis-a-vis -vis 2012 for the whole year. And as I just mentioned, in India, plus 32%. So if we look into the future of the next five years, five, six, seven years, we feel confident that we have strong growth ahead. And it's all backed up by our product offensive with great new cars and making the Mercedes portfolio even wider and more appealing. Ritesh Badra, how much has the introduction of the entry-level A-Class widened the reach of the luxury automotive market? The A-Class has been a smash hit from the word go. It's sporty styling combined with what you expect from a Mercedes, uh, exemplary safety, comfort, also quality, fun to drive. Uh, I think it's kind of changed the face on the entry uh, point of Mercedes, and it's attracting a lot of new and younger customers into the brand. Next question, uh, Ola is going into design. Darshan Petnakar asks, could you give us a little information about the thought that went into the new design philosophy of Mercedes? The new design of Mercedes is a modern design, a sporty design, especially on our compact cars. We wanted to create the most appealing, most exciting offering in the premium compact segment. Uh, and that has led our thoughts throughout the design process. But at the same time, 
if we look here at the upper luxury segment of the S-Class, have a timeless elegance and also a touch of sportiness to it uh, that we think is unique to Mercedes-Benz. Okay, um, a question in a similar direction. Um, Ricky Varma, Ola, is the new design philosophy trying to cater to a younger urban democratic with a lot more disposable income than, say, a decade ago? There's no question that the whole family of compact cars that we're launching around the world with the A-Class, with the B-Class, two cars that we're showing here at the Auto Expo in Delhi, the CLA and the GLA, uh, appeals to a broader audience and also a younger audience. Only a few months ago when we launched the CLA four-door coupe in the US, uh, the conquest rate, people coming new into the brand, was over 80% new people, which is almost unbelievable. Uh, normally you don't have conquest rates that high when you launch a, a new car. Yeah, sure. Astar Sharma. They say that the future of the automobile lies in electric cars. Being the pioneers of the automobile itself, what would be your take on that? Electric mobility is our for all. car first in the US and then in Europe and also with our fuel cell vehicles which are also based on an electric drive uh, we have zero emission alternatives so we're putting a lot of resources into uh, electric or emission fee driving and it will be part of our uh, technical technological future we have Shah on the marketing front when it comes to Hollywood and Bollywood we hardly see Mercedes push product, push product placement. Why is that? Of course, you will see Mercedes is in a lot of the different Hollywood blockbusters and, and film and TV. It is my understanding that we have done that in Bollywood as well. And we'll see. Maybe we'll do more. Yeah. Brian Elia, is there an exclusive club for Mercedes-Benz car owners in India? is based in Mumbai. Monica Pereira, tell us more about the GLA. When will it hit the Indian roads? The GLA is a premium compact SUV. So a perfect car for versatile people with hobbies. You can drive great in the city. You can go into the countryside with it as well. It's very robust and it will hit the Indian market later this year. Hola, Meha Quadra. We have been hearing a lot about the intelligent drive technology. How long before it actually makes its production cars to India? Intelligent drive is the summary title of all the different assistance systems that we have developed in the realm of safety. Many of those systems are already in the cars today, so they are in India. And throughout the next years, we will keep on innovating and adding groundbreaking assistance systems and even taking the first baby steps into autonomous driving as a part of this intelligent drive effort. Next question by Rishi Mera. Does Mercedes plan to revive any of its classic signatures like it did with the galvanic doors in any of its upcoming models? In terms of classic signatures, of course, a brand and a style always has a DNA. If you look at this grill of the S-Class and you look at some of the S-Classes in the past, it also had a very dominant grill. But the sign language in general has to be future-oriented. So we're looking more into the future than into the past uh, when we seek inspiration for our design language. The next question by Rakav Dutta. Actually, it's two questions. How you treat the Indian market differently from the rest of the world as we are growing at a faster pace? And if given the chance, that's the second question, to pick between Nico and Luis, who will be the one you choose? When we focus on the Indian market, we give it the same attention that we give maybe to other markets in America and Europe, widening the product portfolio, 
also looking at what we need to do in terms of our dealer network, expanding that, bringing Mercedes to you. So it is a similar effort that we're doing in other developing markets. The second question, picking between Nico and Lewis, is very, very tough. Those two guys are two great Formula One drivers, and uh, it's very close between them. As we could see last year, we came second in the championship, and they were trading places for who was the quickest Mercedes driver. So if I was a betting man, I would bet on both. <laughs> Anisha Schaumar asks, how does Mercedes-Benz differentiate itself from other luxury car makers? Mercedes-Benz has always been a pioneer in terms of technology. Of course, our founding fathers invented the car. The claim of Gottlieb Daimler was the best or nothing. That is this never resting on your laurels, seeking to go beyond, find new technical solutions. So if you're looking for the best, if you're looking for something exciting that is future-oriented, then the car with the star is the car for you. Short but interesting question by Bumika Shoha. What does excellence mean to you? Excellence is looking ahead, thinking about the little details, being curious in your engineering, finding new technical solutions, also taking care of your customer. Every time we meet the customer, whether it's in the digital world or you come and visit us at the dealer, that moment needs to be special. So thinking about all those details across everything we do, that's excellence. That's excellence. Next question by Rohan Pansara. Any plans to introducing low-cost variants at all in India? And uh, it's mentioned the price bracket between 15 and 25 lakh. I think there's maybe a border of what you can do with the Mercedes Star. If you go into a too low of a segment, Perhaps uh, you wouldn't be able to do a product that would be fitting of the star. Mercedes needs to be premium in every air segment that it's in. So in that particular price segment, we don't have any plans at this moment. Kiran Gupta asks, what are the major differentiating points between the G63 AMG and the GL350 TDI? Both of them offered here in India. The G63 AMG is a unique car, not only its styling staying true to its origins, a real evergreen in our portfolio, but I would call that go anywhere performance, uh, whether it is on roads or you don't need roads uh, with the G. It's a unique car. The GL is a full-size SUV for seven people, of course, with uh, very advanced off-road capabilities, but also with on-road capabilities. Some people call it the S-Class of SUVs. So if you're looking more of a for a vehicle of that kind, go for the GL. If you're looking for something unique that nobody has, and maybe you want to go to the Himalayas or something, then go for the G63. <laughs> this is Persis Schroff. Mercedes-Benz dealers are currently present in how many Indian cities? We're in 34 different cities in India today, and we will, over the years, expand our network. I understand, Eberhard, that you're opening a new dealer already next week, aren't you? Uh, actually, this week, uh, yeah. on Friday, we officially inaugurate our new dealership in Bhubaneswar, yes. Uh, Ankur Rao, who is uh, next, asking uh, a question. Mercedes-Benz recently celebrated the rollout of its 50,000th car with the launch of the Grand Edition C-Class in India. What is the next milestone you plan to achieve? If uh, it took us uh, some years to get to 50,000, the goal would be that the 100,000 comes a whole lot quicker. <laughs> and I think that's up to Eberhardt uh, and his sales team and the dealers. Uh, from a headquarter point of view, rest assured, we will provide the products to make that possible. Okay, we take it as a task. Uh, Sitesh Kriplani, the new Mercedes-Benz S-Class is the best automobile ever. Thanks for this comment. How do you think you can top that? If I learned one thing uh, in my 20 years at Mercedes-Benz is the imagination of the engineers, it never stops. Every time that they have done something, surpassed themselves, and you think, have you invented everything now? They come up with something new. 
So our engineers, many of which actually work here in our R&D center in Bangalore, I'm sure they will have enough ideas to keep us busy for many years to come. <laughs> Davina Tucker. Oh, it's Formula One. The Mercedes-Benz Petronas recently launched the new Formula One car, the W05. What are your expectations from it? I'm a huge Formula One fan. I spent four and a half years of my career working in Formula One, so I follow every test, obviously all the races and everything that's going on. This season is particularly exciting because there's been a complete rule change. A new engine, new uh, energy recovery system, new aerodynamics, new everything. So coming for the first race in Melbourne, it's a big, big question mark. Where is everybody going to be? I'm very excited and I hope Mercedes will be among the front runners. Thanks uh, to Suresh Shankar for the next question. Oh, and you perfectly can answer that. I have heard that each engine of the G63 AMG is manufactured by one single man. Is it true? If yes, what is the idea behind it? Yes, we have a philosophy at AMG of one man, one engine, which means one engine from start to finish is assembled by one person. Maximum quality control and quality responsibility in the hands of this one person that signs a plaque and puts his name on the engine at the end of the process. One of the last true handcrafted high-tech products that you can get. That's AMG for you. Yeah, thank you Ola. Dear friends, we are heading to the Mercedes-Benz press conference here at the Auto Expo, Expo in uh, Noida in Delhi. So uh, 30 minutes are already over. Thank you everybody for all the questions. Thank you Ola for being with us at the first MBIC Connect in 2014 and wish you all the best for the future. Well, a big thank you to uh, all of the Mercedes fans that joined us here online. Great to be here in India. Uh, we're getting ready for the press conference and launch some new cars. Thanks again. Thank you.